Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Oaklawn Park here on Friday. It's the 8th of March, 2024. Gonna look at the ninth race from Oaklawn, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean it around the world. Gonna look at the ninth race from Oaklawn, which is a good one. It's Lance Optional Claim, a purse $141,000. Race Phillies Mayors, three year olds and upwards, and they won $24,000 on the main claiming, blah, 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 blah. Field 10 horses going 1,600 meters or a mile on the main track. Gonna take the number six horse here. Jubella as a top selection. Six seven eight one for me in the Superfecta. Six seven eight one super. Top selection six horse Jabella. Six year old mare by our mine shaft. Robertina Diodora trains. Christian Torres gets the mounts. The horse's most recent out came at the end of January at Oakland on the slop. Mile sixteenth allowance race hundred forty thousand. And the horse went by seven and a half lengths that day, and basically on the front and all throughout, he was a conveyor belt home. He quickened up nicely and he got the job done. Refreshing here, not the world's toughest horses. I think he could get again get the trip to win. Two back in allowance race hundred. 40,000 at Oakland, mile 16th in mid at the end of December. He finished fourth by two and a quarter lengths that day. Off the bench since July, he was flat. He never really got going. He was lax a days goal. It just wasn't his day to win. He needed the race there. And then the Indiana or Iowa distaff. At uh, Prayer Meadow, excuse me, mile 16, 7 of July, he finished fifth by 15 quarter lengths that day, and he just stalked and never had the trip. Prior to that, going a mile at Ellis and Optional 80, when the track was a conveyor belt to speed, he doesn't have a lot of for forwardly pace early on. He finished fourth by two and 12 and a quarter lengths, but he likes this track. He's 5 for 2 on it, with his two wins, two places. His only miss out of the money was that 29th of December race. Other than that, he's been pretty good on this track. He placed two in two very nice races here last um, spring here, um, and won one in the, uh, in the late winter last last year quite nicely from closing up from nowhere he's training well at five two i think she could get the uh, the job done so we'll use her i think this seven horse joke cc for julian leperu and ignacio Correa's could win hasn't won on this side uh in this country yet but has been getting close came back to um run off the the first start of the season last year in july and june at churchill going seven and a half he finished third by 12 and a quarter likes at a very bumpy trip but got down the race course well came back to have a decent place at ellis and a decent third at colonial where they were flying on the front end came back to run okay fourth in the uh, in the fall at churchill but i think coming around two turns for the first time in this country is really what this horse wants i think she'd get the trip to win i would use her on the ticket and even the eight horse stellar lily for rafael bay Hirano and ron moquette was one of her last two once at remington in november and once here at oakland in in uh in early january where she won going away by 10 and three quarter lengths another horse that likes this track the moquette horses in general like this track she could win let's use her in the late pick four that looks very nice today at oakland but to recap my selection for the ninth from Oakland, now I'm going to take the six horse Jubella. Give kudos to the seven horse Joke CC and the eight horse Dove Lily. Six, seven, eight, one super. Six, seven, eight in the multi race. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck, everyone.